Hi everybody, welcome to my homestead and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about this um, quad state tornado that just happened and uh, the storm and all the damage and deaths. So if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, like this video. If you end up liking it, hit the notification bell, make sure to share it and leave your comments. Um, so it looks like, uh, you know, we have something that's probably a, a sign, another, just another sign of the times. Um, I'm going to be reading here about the quad state tornado. Um, okay, so the, de the devastating outbreak, which included more than 30 tornado reports across six states, stretching across the Mississippi Valley, southeast and midwest, is an extremely rare event this late into the year. So already, we have something unusual going on. Something unusual. Uh, one tornado, being called the Quad State Tornado, ripped across four states in four hours. Arkansas, Missouri, Tennessee, and Kentucky. Slamming communities such as Monette, Arkansas, and Mayfield, Kentucky, um, which were two of the hardest hit towns. And uh, there's some more interesting information about this uh, tornado. Um, okay, now since 1950, there have only been uh, 19 uh, E4 tornadoes in the United States during the last month of the year, and only two E5 tornadoes. The last E4 tornado to strike the United States during the month of December was during the Christmas outbreak of December 2015. The last E5 tornado to strike the U.S. during the month of December was in 1957. Um, an E5 tornado is the strongest de designation a tornado can receive. Exceptionally rare, these tornadoes can produce winds higher than 200 miles per hour. The last E5 tornado to strike the U.S. was uh, Moore, Oklahoma in May of 2013. Uh, that was 3,125 days ago and the longest streak on record. <clears throat> um, now this event was caused by a volatile atmospheric setup that was primed, for, primed to produce violent and long track tornadoes. Friday, feature, <clears throat> Friday featured unseasonably warm and record setting temperatures that felt more like spring than did uh, mid, than mid -summer, December. Uh, this warmth, combined with the high humidity, provided ample fuel for the storms. Now, uh, all I can say is that here in Kansas, it has been really warm. In, in fact, uh, last I checked, in a couple days days here, we're going to have a, a high of 79 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, which uh, it wasn't, I don't remember it being like this last year. It's been it's been pretty warm. In fact, we, we had snow uh, back in October of 2020, but we haven't had any snow yet this year. Of course, it doesn't snow a whole lot in Kansas, but um, it does snow, and, and there's just like no sign of it, it doesn't seem like. Okay, now, um, Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir uh, called the tornadoes that ripped across the state the worst, most devastating, most deadly tornado event in Kentucky's history. Um, there was four different tornadoes, and I'm told we had, we're actually going to see a little bit more on that uh, that hit us, including one that touched down in Arkansas and then stayed on the ground for 227 straight miles. When I saw that, I was like, what? Because I know that tornadoes, they don't last that long. That's like a really long distance. Um, and I'm going to show you uh, what's normal for a tornado. Okay, so just remember that number, 227 miles. Um which we believe is likely the longest in U.S. history, the governor said. So I went here to uh, Noah's lovely website that looks like it hasn't been updated since 1996. And uh, it has like a, a FAQ for tornadoes. How long does a tornado last? Tornadoes can last from several seconds to more than an hour. The longest lived tornado in history is really unknown because so many of the long lived tornadoes reported from the, the early mid 1900s and before are believed to be tornado series instead uh, more most tornadoes less than most tornadoes last thus less than 10 minutes the average distance tornadoes have traveled based on path length data since 1950 is about three and a half miles <laughs> okay that that's the norm three and a half miles and Interesting that that's the case as uh, we're talking about this on a second coming channel because uh, three and a half, it shows up a lot of times uh, 
in regards to the last days and especially in the book of revelation but anyway that's neither here nor there just interesting so um yeah okay now records the longest path damage path in duration the longest known track for a single tornado is the tri-state tornado with a path length of 151 to 235 miles okay so i, I guess they're they're not sure but 151 to 235 um <clears throat> and this one was uh 227 so uh it may not beat that record but man it is it is up there i guess we'll see what they what they officially call it as uh as the days go by but in any case um like the governor said the worst most devastating deadly tornado in kentucky's history and um it, it's just weird weather right now it's really warm uh let's read some more kentucky tornadoes the first fatality is named after 70 killed by 18 twisters in deadliest storm since 1890. utah was not even a state yet utah was uh six years away from uh becoming a state so <laughs> that is insane at least 79 people are dead across five states after tornadoes tore through the u.s affecting residents in at least six states uh, as many as 100 people are feared to have lost their lives in kentucky alone um it has been one of the toughest nights in kentucky history the governor said some areas have been hit in ways that are hard to put into words uh, the estimated number of deaths suggests that the storm that hit the state on Friday night could be the deadliest storm since 1890 when 76 people were killed in the area of Louisville. Um, <clears throat> and then here are some pictures uh, of like before and after. So here's the before. Keep an eye on this like this feature right here, this side of the that like warehouse or whatever that is. And bam. Well, no, look at look at both. Sorry, I shouldn't be laughing. Look, look at both sides uh gosh you can just see all this like debris all over the place uh these houses right here all right let's look at the next one this looks like the same thing just like closer i think it is yeah that's just like a closer look at it um okay look at these three buildings bam only one is still somewhat intact uh it looks like it had a lot of damage right here i, I can't even tell what that would have that uh, cylinder thing is but uh, these two are just like demolished um, here is a neighborhood and then just now this looks like this is just like a cloud right here but um, you can definitely see just all the destroyed structures and stuff all across this area oh my gosh that that was just completely annihilated this big building right here um okay, let's look at this yep it, lo it looks like uh <clears throat> those pictures that you see from germany in world war ii like towns that just like got bombed to smithereens essentially that's what this looks like from these pictures yeah so anyway you get the idea um okay a massive tornado ripped through kentucky for more than 200 miles here's its path um so you can see right here um, my geography in this area is not too good but this must be probably arkansas i think and then it, it, i think like right here is missouri and then right here is tennessee so it just like barely was it in those three states and then the the vast majority of it was in kentucky and the, look at that path you guys think about like if you uh we're going on a, a a road trip or something like you're going here from here to over here that's a long way to drive <laughs> that is a long way to drive um okay so here are the counties uh and then here here's like it looks like this is like the actual path right here so yeah here there, here's missouri so it barely starts here in arkansas just like barely and then it goes through this uh little tiny spot right here uh in missouri uh goes into tennessee uh, just for a little bit northwest Tennessee and then like I said the majority of it is is here in um, uh, Kentucky and I must say that is an incredibly straight line 
that that is really that is weird. I I don't know. I, I know that they always travel from like southwest to northeast. I've done other videos before about uh, the tornado. I've done the I've done the uh, <clears throat> a video about the Salt Lake tornado in downtown Salt Lake, which I feel like that was a um, a sign of the times like that that was a very very unusual tornado i'll link that below and then also this year there was another weird tornado this is 22 years later after the downtown salt lake tornado 22 years later we have another one but this time it was just a little bit north of salt lake it, it was it was in uh, north salt lake city and then up into woods cross and it was two days after elder dean davies passed away and that's where he's from by the way so he passed away I think it was on uh, August 31st, two days go by, and again, he's from North Salt Lake, two days go, that's a city, that's, it's like, a, you have North Salt Lake, you have Salt Lake City, and then you have South Salt Lake, those are three different cities, well, North Salt Lake, that's where he is from, and then two days later, uh, you have a tornado there, it was, it was, it was an E2, so it was small, it wasn't as big as the one, um, the downtown Salt Lake one, but 22 years later, and then in conference, they brought him up like two or three times. I, I did a video on that as well. Well, that's in my conference notes. So I don't know if there's something special about Elder Davies, but that was weird. Um, so anyway, I'll link I'll link all that below if you want to check out those videos. Um, and yeah, I think that's that's pretty much it uh, for that. So. Um, you know, let's make sure to include th these people in your prayers, um, because obviously people died. I'm sure people were injured. People have lost their homes and uh, probably businesses and jobs. And uh, this was a horrible thing that just happened. Um, I, I was reading somewhere. I don't know if I highlighted it. Um, it was it was in one of these articles, but it was talking about how it seems that tornadoes nowadays, they're starting to. Uh, shift uh, from the Midwest uh, more east um, based on recent weather. I, I, where's that? Okay, no, it's right here. Okay. Um, compounding the favorable atmospheric ingredients is the fact that the United States is currently in a La Nina pattern, which historically increases tornado frequency across the Mississippi Valley. Uh, and climate change may also have played a role. Research reveals that climate change may, ca may be causing Tornado Alley to shift east. Uh, that's interesting. Out of traditional Tornado Alley uh, of the Great Plains, that's where I am, and into parts of the Mississippi Valley. Um, oh, okay, there's more down here. Uh, that will make this event not just one of the deadliest tornado events in Kentucky history, but also in U.S. history, and potentially the deadliest December outbreak on record. Okay, so that's all that I highlighted. So this is interesting that, you know, after reading that, because President Nelson just had that special devotional here in the Midwest. It was for Kansas and Oklahoma. And, uh, you know, he, he was using like the, the term heartland uh, as a metaphor of where he wants us to be like spiritually. Um, but I think there there is something very special about the heartland, because obviously this is where New Jerusalem is going to be up in Jackson County. That's not far from where I'm at. Well, it's like four hours away, but that's like the same as like driving from Phoenix to Vegas. That's something that I did all the time uh, because we have family there in Vegas. Um, but that that's just interesting that uh, for all this time that the Midwest has been notorious for, for tornadoes. Um, and of course there's, there's gonna still be tornadoes, but like if this is true, if, if this is starting to shift east, that means that the Midwest is becoming a safer place, or just relatively speaking, a little bit safer. So, um, uh, a lot of stuff to think about, you guys. All right, so I'll end it there. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, like this video if you liked it, hit the notification bell, uh, share this with your friends, and I'll talk to you guys later.